Hello everyone, my name is Puth Kumar and from now onwards I am going to start one more playlist where I will solve all the type of interview questions based on five part. Okay. Five part. So whatever the interview questions I will get and from the internet or anywhere I will just put it down. So today the first interview questions I am going to start is it is asked in one of the my interview. Okay, so what they ask is they have given me the data set of four field. So this is the employee data, or you can say any data, any data set. The four field, basically user of keep it employee only. Okay, there is name or let it ID, name, and this is gender. Okay, and third is salary, fourth is salary. So there are four fields they have given. I've given some name a id one two three four name a b c okay and then salary 200 300 500 anything okay so main question this gender is male female male and then female any gender means male or female so what he asked me is to to swap the male field okay to female okay and female to male so this is the input data set and output will be output should be all field will be same only this field will be will change to m to f and uh, m and this is m to again f f to m okay hope the question is clear this is very easy questions and uh, introvert just need to check whether I have the knowledge of when, when clause or with clause, all those things is I have knowledge or not. So let's start. So I will first prepare my data set. I already have installed Spark in my local system. So if anyone having the problem of installing Spark, please contact me, please ping me, or please just uh, write it in the comment. I will give my phone number. You can just ping me or I will make one video to how to install spark in your local okay that's fine it's very easy you can google it and you do it if not if you have a if still getting problem kindly contact no issue okay so first i will import some of the my required package by spark now okay Let me start it. So this type is I need to prepare the data set. ID will be in the type or bad type, all those things. So this is Spark system. We need to create the systems. And uh, in the functions, we need we will import column, when, and expression. Okay. So import it. And we'll create the session first. Okay. How to create session? You need to call the session builder and uh, Spark session and then builders app name and you can give any app name here and create. Okay, so Spark system will be created. Now we'll pre prepare the data set. Okay, so I have already prepared data set user list. Okay, so this is my user. So this is list of tuple. Okay. One is Amit, Billo, Chotu, and Divya. So Below, I will put M male or with male or let it male female only. In any way, doesn't matter. Don't think like okay. So, this is just questions, okay? Not <laughs> think logically, okay? So, Amit male, female again, male, female. So, we need to change Amit will become female and below will become male, and this will become female here and the will become male, okay? This is the question, okay? Something logically. So this is the user list. From here, we need to prepare the first data frame. There is many way to create the data frame out of it. You can use struct type in the struct field for that. And there is a other method is 2 df as well. So I will show you the both way. First way is this one. We'll use struct type. And first is I first we'll keep this. We'll be keeping the schema. 
the first is id id is in digit type obviously name is string type gender again string type and that will be digit type so this is the i am preparing the schema once the schema will be prepared i will create the data frame okay. as simple as it is we will create the data frame and if you want to see the data frame value you can use the app dot so okay so i have the data frame ready 1 2 3 4 5 it's taking time no problem okay this local system so this is you can see this is the data frame okay let me okay anyway this value sally will you then matter ignore this one only we have to focus on this part gender part okay anything they have given me some other value i just written this one okay so so okay i have told you you can create this data frame using struct field otherwise there is easy way method to using 2df and in the 2df you can pass the column name okay you can see this one so here i prepared the user list pass user list here and use 2df and the 2df you pass all the column name okay so if you like this method use this one if you don't like this method use this simple method okay any one both are simple So here you try to um, some more line of code. That's all. That's fine. So anything so you should know both. Okay. Let me show this one also. Yes. Dot show. And I'm going to tell you two three method of doing this one. Okay. So you can see. Hope you someone will like preparing data frame using this, and someone will like this one. Comment down which one you like. okay and then then now we what we have to do is we have to to change it when it is gender is female we have to change to male and when it is male we have to change to female and otherwise we will put it null so there is a, a clause called, called when we will use when function for that and uh, and with column which column we want to do the change okay so which column are we are going to change here gender okay so so we'll write df okay i'm just taking this df even i can take df underscore t also it's fine so df with column gender and whenever df dot gender is f we changing it to m and whenever df dot gender is m we changing it to f and otherwise if some in certain uh, file you might be get transgender or some empty value or anything you can put otherwise and null okay so this is the easiest way of doing this one if you run it and check it okay this is working or not you can hope you understand this method this is very easy just we are changing it to, we are using when and doing it so so you can see this is the output so that's all but i am just going to give other method also even if you are not using this and in otherwise you can write otherwise if there is f otherwise m so if m you can write m here so let me just with one when only you can solve this problem but what i want to say is to remove this one okay in other ways you can write if f the m otherwise f only right and put here three right here three dot so this also fine right so some people prefer this one some people prefer this one so whatever you want you can use it and there is one more method so right now we have used df dot gender so if you don't want to use df dot gender you can use call and inside call function you can pass gender so i'm just showing that one 
So anyway, I imported here call. You can see here call when everything. So call I have not used. So let me so you call df. So see here when if you want to use df with gender, you use df with gender. Otherwise, you can pass the column in call function. Okay, and check it if it is m. So change it to f. Otherwise, m. The same thing. This is the same thing. Yes, just to interchange change both. So both are same. Anything fine. So I'm just using this one. df four dot row. This type question only in, in interview they will ask. They will ask you to to group by. I will just go one by one everything. Okay. So stay tuned. So there is one more method using RDD. You you create data from data frame. You create the RDD. Okay. And the, in the RDD you pass one row by row. Okay. You take the take one row and go to the fourth second column and check the second column having the M or not. If it is having the M. Just change it to F and pass it. If if second column, second I what why I'm telling it because zero one two. If second third column but second index will having F, then change it to M. Otherwise change it to null. Okay, so we'll create one function here, and in that function we'll call into map functions. Okay, let me create the function first. Okay, we'll name it convert gender. Okay, I will pass. Employ name here. Okay, if second because zero one two second index will be M, then pass this one. Everything will be zero one, and then second second index just pass F, and then this is same. Okay, this is also same. So this is the function. Hope you understand this function, and then and then we'll call our data frame. We'll convert our data frame to RDD. And we'll use map function. Map function, you know that map function is what higher order function that accept any other function. So in the any other function, we're calling the lambda. Okay, the lambda uh, is also an another function. So I will don't want to give the name. In the in the lambda, we are calling one function called this. This is calling gender convert gender. In the convert gender, we are passing one full row as im. Okay, so in this im, it will pass as one one row one tuple. Okay. This is one tuple. One tuple will go there, and then it will just uh, do all those things. It will getting back, and it will go. It will give me uh, data frame back. Okay, so I will keep it into F, and then run it. And D F five dot so. So what method do you like? You can also comment it which method you like. Okay, but why I'm telling all the method is because if you are doing this one, you are just understanding the concept behind it. So if you want to do other things, other problem, you can use this concept. So this is, you can see F M F M. Okay. So but you can see here we don't we didn't get column name. So that's fine. You can keep you can pass the column name here in the DF as I already have told you. You can pass. Column in the data frame to df. So I will just change it. I will write it again. I will put it five. Okay. So what is the column name? Uh, first one is id. Second one is uh, okay. 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 Something extra list and this one correct. So data frame we put here six. So six run it. And the six dot so it's fine. Okay. so that's all for this video friend so if you like it please like the this video and subscribe to my channel and you can share it with some of the your colleague or some of your friend who is 
trying to change the company and preparing for the interview. Okay, thank you very much.